Like many industries right now, animal shelters say that staffing shortages are one of their biggest issues, and when those shelters don't have the help that they need, it can be bad news for hopeful pets. You're not providing uh, the service that you used to be able to provide. And in our terms, that means getting animals out of the shelter alive. Julie Castle runs Best Friends Animal Society, an organization that keeps track of euthanization data across the U.S. With fewer staff, she says shelters are sometimes open for fewer hours. So that leaves less opportunity for the animals to come out alive. We're, we're seeing shelters doing less events. It's been a particularly tough summer at Charlotte Animal Care and Control, where euthanizations are 40% higher than last summer. Melissa Nicely has been here for 15 years, and she says this is the worst that she's seen it. During the month of June, if you averaged it all out, it would probably be about three to four dogs a day. When shelters don't have enough staff, it means fewer resources can go to dogs with medical or behavioral issues. We have had to make some decisions that some may call for space, but it wasn't just merely space. We had to actually take the behavior into into consideration too. Best Friends Animal Society is primarily focusing on improving conditions in five states. Those are California, Texas, Florida, North Carolina, and Alabama. Those states make up 31% of the U.S. population, yet account for half of all shelter killings according to the society. Maybe they have a, uh, a lot of different shelters that don't have the access to the resources or the community population to really help them. Even if you can't adopt a pet right now, many shelters say that right now you can volunteer or you can foster a dog temporarily, and that will help them out quite a bit. In Charlotte, Austin Westfall, Fox News.